If you like onions, I got good news for you. I'm about to tell you why the onion, not the apple, will probably do a better job of keeping the doctor away. Hey, beautiful humans. Welcome back to our channel, Ink Nutrition. My name's Jack. I'm a registered dietitian, and I am here to help translate the science of nutrition to help you live a healthier and happier life. Please like, comment, and subscribe for videos every week. So we've all heard the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. It actually has a fascinating history, which I want to get into for a second. So in the early 1900s, John Chapman, aka Johnny Appleseed, with help, pretty much dedicated his entire life to planting apple orchards across the country. But not to spread the sweet, rather to spread the buzz. Yeah, that's right. Hard apple cider quickly became the most popular alcoholic beverage in the country. It was everywhere. Now the government saw how problematic this was and began forcing apple growers across the country to make a shift in their marketing tactics. Hence the slogan, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So apples then went from being consumed predominantly as a bubbly, intoxicating brew to a healthy, nutritious snack. You didn't think you were gonna get a history lesson today. This is tea, by the way, <laughs> not apple cider. Now apples indeed are nutritious, don't get me wrong. Good fiber, vitamin C, potassium, but there are better options. Allow me to introduce well, the onion, which really needs no introduction. In fact, it is the world's second most popular vegetable behind tomatoes, I believe. So my sister used to make fun of me for eating so many onions, like an onion a day. I mean, she still does, but I have good reason. I have a passionate love relationship with onions for three reasons. One, they are freaking delicious. Just the smell of garlic and onions sauteing in a pan with olive oil turns me on. Number two, they are magnificently versatile. I mean, there's a reason that everybody uses them in soups, stir fries, sauces, salads, curries, scrambles, tacos. You can have them sauteed, roasted, pickled, fried, uh, caramelized, even raw. Do I need to keep going? And the third reason why I love them so much, really why we are here today, is because they're so good for you, probably better than you think. So I'm about to tell you why having an onion a day may actually keep the doctor away. Here are all of the health benefits of onions. Number one, cardiovascular health. So there are some bioactive compounds found in onions that have been shown to lower blood pressure and cholesterol and inhibit platelet aggregation. So it can help prevent blood clots. Let's free up those arteries. Number two, anti-diabetic properties. So quercetin, that's a major phytonutrient in onions that has been shown to help control hyperglycemia and inhibit alpha glucosidase, which means it just helps regulate glucose metabolism and blood sugar. Number three, there are some favorable effects on the microbiome. So onions are a fantastic source of prebiotics, the non-digestible fiber that provides, you know, the beneficial bacteria in your gut with delicious food, leading to an improvement in the quality and quantity of microbiota. And a happy and healthy gut equals a happy and healthy you. Four, there's some neuroprotective qualities. Yes, onions may even promote brain health by reducing inflammation in the brain. And quercetin has shown in some clinical trials to improve cognitive decline in older populations. Number five, there's also some potential anti-cancer properties with onions. I know this is a bold statement, but early research says some compounds found in onions may inhibit certain pathways and cell growth associated with cancer. And then there's inflammation. That's a huge one. So onions can regulate pro-inflammatory cytokines and a reduction in low-grade inflammation is always a good thing. Finally, there are some promising studies that tell us onions may improve respiratory health and immunity. So yeah, baby, onions for the win. They are good for heart health, brain health, gut health, immune health, and they're cheap and they're tasty. <laughs> but there are some considerations, okay? So yes, everything I just said, all those health benefits, they are backed by science, but they are just 
associations within the research, right? So I'm not saying that eating onions all day is gonna reverse diabetes or heart disease, but it may help. Secondly, most vegetables in the onion family, right? The alliums are likely to show similar benefits. So we're talking chives, shallots, garlic, leeks, and that's because they all contain a pretty similar nutritional profile. Also interesting to note, small red organic onions appear to have the highest concentration of quercetin, that you know phytonutrient responsible for so many of those health benefits. And I do wanna mention if you have IBS or a history of chronic GI symptoms, onions may worsen those symptoms, not for everyone, but for some people. So if you can tolerate them and you don't notice any of those GI symptoms, gas, bloating, stomach pain after having onions or garlic, please have them, enjoy them. And if you want specific advice on dealing with a certain GI condition, reach out to myself, one of our other dietitians at Ink Nutrition, we'd be happy to help. So next time you're in the kitchen and you don't know what to cook, just whip out a pan and start sauteing garlic and onions and then you can just add in whatever you want. That's usually what I do and that's usually how I start cooking probably half of my meals. So to wrap things up, do you really need to have a whole onion every day? No, but you could and your health may benefit because of it. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you always for watching. Thanks everybody for following this channel. If you want me to talk about anything else in the world of nutrition, let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe for videos every week. And remember, long-term health begins in your kitchen. Have a delicious day. See you next time. Yeah, onions. You can even eat them like an apple. No, not advised. Spicy. You are beautiful, you know that?